<laughs> it's daily something. Some days it's just daily. <laughs> oh boy. Because some days don't you feel like you just don't want to get out of bed. Some days you feel like you just don't want to do anything. You know, I think that's where modern technology has made it a lot easier to be less active than it is to be more active because we could roll out of bed, I guess, or unless you have a TV in your bedroom and just click it on and not have to get up. Remember in the old days when you had to get up to change the channel? <laughs> oh my gosh. That must have been rough. Thinking before you do something often stops people from doing it. Lots of times you need to just go for it. You know, it's one of my favorite words is just do it. Devotionals are a lot like that, is that when you think about it ahead of time, you think, oh, I don't have time or I can't read or I don't have the schedule to make the time or to take the time to watch or to read or to listen or to spend time with God because I have to hurry you know I mean he knows my schedule he knows I gotta get busy I gotta go do and so sometimes you think you can't or you don't because you don't do it and then when you do you go oh wow what was I thinking this is so cool it's wonderful God I'm glad to talk to you man it makes it so much better each day but then the next day comes and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day so the choice is yours each and every day to take the time to just do it and see if God speaks to you or to go your way and walk away without God speaking to you. <laughs> I would much rather just knock myself in the head, get out here and do it <laughs> and read and see if the Lord would have something for me. And I believe he has something for you. Take this child away and nurse it for me, and I will give thee thy wages. Go ye into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give to you. Whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because you belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed you? or thirsty and gave you drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Inasmuch as you have done it unto the one of the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Thou compassed my path and my lying down. Jacob awaked out of his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place! There is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole world to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. I will both lay me down in sleep and in peace. For thou, Lord, only makes me to dwell in safety. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. So he giveth his beloved sleep. One of the things about being a Christian and being with Jesus, instead of going on your own way, is the whole idea that God protects you each and every day. 
there are things that happen in everyone's life that they would say, oh, what a tragedy or what a sorrow or how could God allow that to happen or why did a tornado come by and wipe it out? Or why did this person die? And you know, people won't normally say, oh, well, you know, when you know in the sweet by and by, then you won't ever question why, because then God will come and remove all of that sigh, and he'll give you the answer or the reason why. And I take a little bit blunt approach. Hey, maybe God needed to do that. You know, maybe, maybe he told people to get out of the town, you know, or get away. Or if you lived in a town that you know it's Tornado Alley, maybe you should have gotten away. You know, I mean, sometimes I think people don't use some thinking about it. But when God says he'll protect your habitation, he protects the habitation of the just in the way that if you are seeking him, he tells you and prepares you for those things that are coming. If he has designed your life that there should be something that happens in your life, like a break-in or a death in the family or a, a circumstance where you lose all your possessions he's prepared you for that he's given you his word beforehand to allow you to know that sooner or later these trials and tribulations would come to test your faith so you could turn to him and find his salvation in them and go through them with him you're never alone that's the whole point you're never alone whether you think you're by yourself in a hospital bed, out in the boonies, out in the bush, in a country that is all anti-Christian, you're never alone. God said he would give his angels charge over you to watch over you. So anything that's allowed to happen in your life has come through him knowing it and preparing a place and a time for you to demonstrate the fact, the witness, the ability that you are one with God. You are a child of the King. You are a Christian. You are one as a person who knows Jesus. And if you're not, all those promises, all those protections, all those things we just mentioned, God help you. Because in this world, as much as I don't see those things happening to me directly, I know that God has protected me from them by way of some direct confrontations that there's no other way for me to have been surviving except for God was with me. And God can be with you today if you choose to be with him.